Mola cut our rescue, erosion don't carry our ass. So. This is the aftermath of Tuesday's rainfall in parts of Benin City as flood victims count their losses. It was a man of Upper Mission Road, Benin City, which is a transit route to Te, Idowina, Igosage, Orio, and Ubo is among the worst hit areas as residents have continued to relocate in droves with collapsed buildings, including churches, gradually becoming a daily occurrence. The major road, which serves as a link to other parts of the city, has been cut off from the Upper Mission end following years of flooding. Some residents who include Papulin Gold and Prince Marvelous Omusi appealed for a lasting intervention to protect their homes and means of livelihood. About two years now, nine people build house for everywhere. They come they do one and the water from there now they come here. This is a worship center that was destroyed by, by flood. We appealed to the state governor Please to come to our aid. You can see that our road lead to several communities. Look at our caravan. The rain destroyed it. Fences everywhere. Flooded. Whenever it rains like this, we don't have access to bring our children to school. At Felix Elema quarters in the GRA, Benin City, residents commended the retention pond in the area but appealed to the state government to prevail on the contractor handling the project to create drains to evacuate flood from streets in the area. Ozibo Street of Ekema Road, Benin City is not spared as flood has taken over some homes in the aftermath of Tuesday's downpour. When they were constructing this thing, we explained to them that that place you are putting it Taloki Tile is too high. You are putting sand over there to be higher than this side. How will this water enter the pond that has been dogged? The water is supposed to be flowing down like this. But if the rain is falling, the water has to come back from this side. It will have to flow back to the as is fed. We are pleading if the government can assist us and finish this project. Because this has been like this for years. In my business is not moving. We are pleading to the government that they should come to our aid. Executive Director, Edo State Flood, Erosion and Watershed Management Agency, Dr. Tom Obaseki said the state government is leveraging on its robust water storm project arrangement to address flooding challenges across some flood-prone areas in the state. For well, everywhere we have worked, uh, the people are better off. Uh, they can um, go about their businesses. Uh, their assets are now protected. Gapiona. Mm -hmm. Uh, catchment has been fully taken off. We have built the, a very robust uh, stormwater infrastructure there. Kingsley Uchebu reporting.